guys, in this video I'm going to show you prices in the Filipino supermarket. Let's go! I'm going to take you to SM in Manila. Obviously prices might change a little bit depending on the location in the Philippines and on a brand of the shop. But just for your reference so you can have an idea about prices in the Philippines. In the beginning of the video I'm going to put you the exchange rate for dollars and for euro for the date where I'm editing this video so you can roughly understand how much is it in your own currency. Some coffee prices, where is this instant coffees? And here are the normal coffees. Here are teas. And some juices. Some soda drinks. By the way, they don't have Fanta here. It's called Royal. That's interesting, yeah? Oh, this is nice. There are some baby products, some diapers and stuff. So in case you have a baby, you have an idea. And the formulas. And baby food options. Not expert in babies, I don't have one, but for example, in other countries I've been, their choice is much bigger. So I'm not sure it's really good choice in the Philippines for the baby food because that's it. That's the only shelf. Here are some baking products. They have lots of American kind of stuff and there is one brand of brownie which is really nice. This one, it's so good. Sorry, yes, babe. I'm so tasty. And it tastes really good. It actually tastes like and it's really cheap. better than some brownies from the like shop. cafes, not shop from like proper restaurants, you know. So here is some this conservation, conserved, whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And some mushroom, corn, pickles, this kind of stuff. So here are some noodles and some pastas. Here is the noodles. In Philippines, the popular one is this one, the panchit. We try cooking it a few times, it actually tastes really nice. And this side are some sauces, baby move please. Yeah, spaghetti is good. Right. Yeah, and here are all the spaghettis and different type of pastas. So here are some sauces and vinegars, which are really popular in the Philippines, especially the silver swan and patu puti, these two popular Filipino brands. So you can see the prices here. And there are some other sauces as well. Here is some beverages section. I already showed you a little bit, but these ones are in the fridge. Here you can check some milk, like milks and yogurts and this kind of stuff. Not super great choice comparing to my country as well. But you can get whatever you want, it's just the prices are a bit more expensive for the cheese and stuff. And actually about the cheese, not every shop have cheese. You need to go to something like a Sam or Robinson, just some little local small shop. They will have this weird processed cheese, which doesn't even need a fridge for it. I'm not even sure from what they do in it. Honestly, we didn't try it. But we usually get something like this. We get this Arla brand or this purple brand. They taste pretty good and price is fine as well. So yeah, like if you want, you can find whatever you want. But yeah, prices are similar to what you would have paid in Europe for the cheese. Look, they even have like feta kind of and this kind of stuff. 
But yeah, prices are pretty close to what we would have paid in Europe, yeah? Yeah. Exactly similar, some butters. Actually, butter, I don't think they have butter as well. It's mainly margarine. I don't think they sell butter here. I was trying once to find it. Oh, here is the cheese I was telling you about. You see the price difference. This is like 49 and that one was like 250. Of course, hot dog. They love hot dog. Yeah, they love hot dogs in the Philippines. There is plenty of options. Honestly, cannot comment on it. Well, I don't really eat this kind of stuff, so we didn't try this thing. I eat from Ah, yeah, you eat a few times hot dogs, yeah. Here are oils. If you get used to sunflower oil in your country, good luck with that. I don't think you can find sunflower oil here. We normally use coconut oil. It's having its help here for the cooking. At least that's what I thought. But yeah, there is plenty, plenty of options. And you can get some olive oils as well. Again, the prices will be very similar to what you would have paid in Europe. And the quality would have been probably worse. Here are some gems, Nutella's, peanut butters. Here are quickly guys some snacks for you to check out the price. It's not gonna like stop much here. You can just pause and find whatever you want. Here are some nuts. The fun thing in the Philippines, if you want some peanuts, just salt it. Yes, Good luck finding it. It's they always with garlic as well, salt with garlic and stuff. Yeah. I they... don't I just pick one, but I can see the garlic slices. Yeah, yeah they're all garlic, <laughs> all like spicy or something. But I think JJ likes it. For me, it's a bit, I, I couldn't like, for me, it tastes too chemical. But for you, it's fine, yes, babe? Yeah, I like it actually, it goes well. Ah, there are normal nuts as well. Here is some local crisp as well, quickly for you to check out, guys. And the prices are pretty, pretty cheap for the local stuff. They sell like Pringles and all these things as well. If you're not into local stuff. And here is some candies and sweet section. No, there is, ah, there is more crisp. That's what I was telling you about the Pringles and stuff. Cheetos and Lacey, okay. Here's like more international brands I guess here is the milk section funny feel thing about the milk always check the ingredients because apparently most of the milks in the Philippines are made from a, like powdered milk like check this one it says farm fresh yeah we actually bought it a few times and we're like wondering why it tastes so weird and look here ingredients is milk powder and so many other stuff it's just ridiculous seriously but the moment we figure it out we just start checking the ingredients and then usually you can find normal milk normally it's like australian milk like we take this brand and when you check the ingredients here it says ingredients let me focus as you see it's just full cream milk and nothing else how it's supposed to be but yeah something interesting they also have options for like almond milk and stuff if you like those intolerant so here are the eggs they cost let's see you can see how much we don't really have big or small packages only this standard one for 12 eggs and of course lots of lots of lots of rice they have so many options <laughs> and they have huge bikes as well but it's normal for asia here is the bread the fun thing about bread it's hard to find the bread which does not taste sweet they put so many sugar and if you check the ingredients it honestly looks horrible i think most of the bread is like american style just look at this random bread I check. I got just few one and how many different ingredients is there. Honestly, I was shocked. We actually don't really buy uh, bread from supermarkets, only from bakeries. Uh, because from bakeries you can find something without sugar or whole grain, something kind of more healthy. Let me show you frozen food sections. I feel like there is many, many things which are kind of from America exported. Not that there is a lot of a lot of stuff. You can check out what is it. 
here at the prices is actually some Filipino stuff. So yeah, let me put it so you can see the price. Okay, like this. section there is some beef pork chicken and fish actually a lot of options the means looks a bit weird here for me I am okay here is the beef you can see The chicken is like self service, you can just uh, get it and put whatever you want. There are some discounts, products. Okay. Sorry for announcement. Okay, and here is the fish section. You can check the prices as well. Here is the vegetable section. Actually, there is a great variety of vegetables, but not in every shop is like that. Oh yeah, you can check. Oh yeah, lots of vegetables and stuff and fruit some non-food stuff here is the toilet papers and the tissues here is the woman products yeah you will not find tampons here so if there is something you use you can maybe you can buy online i'm not sure honestly or just bring from your country i guess as much as you need yeah because in most of the shops there will be none. In the shampoo section there is a plenty, plenty of different options of shampoos and creams. So it's a great option on this kind of stuff. So that's it guys. Now you know how much approximately it's gonna cost you to shop in the Philippines. I hope you find this video helpful and see you next one. Bye!